Welcome to Life Today. I'm Randy Robinson. I have a power tumbler with me here today. Jen Bricker's here. Welcome. Thank you. Is, did I get it right? Is it a power tumbler? Is yeah, power tumbler. I'm an what aerialist is, now. So. What is, what is a power tumbler? What does that mean? So power tumbling is the tumbling portion. In gymnastics, you have four events, and one of them is the floor where they're tumbling. So power tumbling uh, is the tumbling part. Instead of a big square, it's a long, narrow kind of runway. Looking. You can tell who didn't watch the Olympics. <laughs> That would be you. <laughs> uh, I do want to mention your book, Everything is Possible. And it is uh, probably a little unique because uh, Jen's not your average, ordinary story. Uh, and let's get into a little bit of that. I don't, I don't want to cover everything because you need a whole book for that, right? Right. But uh, okay, let's start with the fun stuff. Britney Spears. Yes. <laughs> I got to tour with her in 2009 doing a featured trampoline act. It was just one of the most invigorating, alive times of my life that I also can't believe happened. Some audiences we had were 20,000 people live, yeah. and I'm getting risen up from underneath the stage, and we come up, and there's just thousands of people everywhere you look. Cameras going off. They're going nuts. It's shaking the stage, and then the spotlight comes, and all eyes are on me, and we're performing at my old partner and I, Nate. And it was just, I was alive. I was like, I am alive. How did, what did they, is that like an ad in the paper where they're auditioning for this? <laughs> No, no, it's it's like an invite to audition, basically. But for me, again, it was God because my partner, Nate, he was on the tour first performing. And then I would just kind of go throughout the months and I met people. They sh we sh showed the video to the people who ran the tour and I didn't actually audition, which is insane. Yeah. But they saw our video, they had already met me several times. The joke was I was on the tour before I was on the tour. Right. And then They're like, that we was gotta it. have you. And that was it. What was on the video? <laughs> it was our act. It was our trampoline act. Oh, okay. It was so, I mean, it's never been done before. And it was so technical and so difficult and really just got the crowd going nuts. I mean, yeah. when we performed, like I said, sometimes it was 20,000 people. And when we were performing, nobody else was performing. It was insane. So That's crazy. also the pressure was unbelievable. I was only in the entertainment industry a year and a half. And I get thrown into one of the biggest, the highest grossing tour in the world in 2009. Yeah. And I did North America and Australia. I had no room to fail. I either sank or I swam. I either succeeded or failed miserably. That was it. I had no other option. And so the pressure was intense. And after that, I was like, nothing will ever intimidate me that much again. Has anything? Not, Not in yet. the Not entertainment yet. world, no. Okay, good. No. So what's going on since then? So since then, I've been traveling around the world even more. And, you know, I started out primarily doing acrobatics and aerial performing with the silk fabric that hangs from the ceiling. Oh, cool. So that's what I've been doing in addition to that. I'm doing a solo work now as an aerialist. And then God had in plans for me to be a speaker as well. And so I thought that was going to be my retirement plan. <laughs> I thought when I had gray hairs, I would be a speaker. Yeah. But uh, he had other plans for me. So in addition to doing my aerial performing, now I'm also speaking, and I have my first book coming out next month. So, What's the book about? The book is a really beautiful hybrid. I think it's very unique because it's not just a memoir that's chronological about my life. It's also not just a Christian book about faith. It's also not a self-help book. It's all three of those elements tied in. So it's about my life from before I was born till what I'm doing now, but it's also all the quirks, all the things. It's my heart. This is the first time publicly that people are going to actually get to know why I am this way, mm. what makes me tick, what I love to do, all my little funny things about me, the things that I like. And throughout there, I have VIP boxes that are people throughout my life that have shaped me and molded me. I didn't get where I'm at because I'm so awesome. I got where I'm at because so many people have poured into me and shaped and molded me. So I wanted to give back in the book and highlight them and give them their own VIP box. Have you done a TED Talk? I have done a TEDx. A TEDx. Yes. Mm -hmm. What did you talk about? That was primarily, so the, the series was Unexpected Events, and so my sister and I basically tag-teamed it, and I was a surprise. Uh, so it was Unexpected uh, Events, and I was the unexpected one, so she spoke in the first half, and oh. then, surprise, Jen's here, and I took it home and finished it out. Oh, so you surprised her. Uh, no, surprised everyone else. She knew I was there. Oh, she knew you yes. were there. Yes, oh, okay, yes, yes. this is an audience. Okay. Yes. I don't know if it's like an Oprah deal, I guess. Well, yeah, guess who's yeah, here? Sister, or like you a sister. Jerry Springer, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I, we should probably go in. Uh, we'll, don't go into the whole story because that's, okay. that's in the book, yes? Yes, of course. Because that's, people are going to go, oh my gosh, I got to read about that. 
But the short end of it is you're adopted. Mm-hmm. I can relate. I am too. Oh, okay. Very cool. Um, and you didn't know it. How old were you when you found out who your sister is? I found out when I right before I turned 16. Okay. Who my biological sister was, And yes. so by then you're already doing all the tumbling and all that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. I had already just, done all of it basically by then. Did you... Your adop- how old were you when you were adopted? Three months old. Yeah, okay. So from birth, your adoptive parents had no idea. They found out when I was seven. Oh, they did? Yes. Is that why they put you in with some of that? Or you just no, were already doing it? No, I was that? already interested in it at that point just, and starting it. It just runs in the genes. It runs in the genes. So tell everybody who your sister is. So I watched gymnastics growing up, and I watched Dominique Mochianu in the Olympics and on TV. And right before I turned 16, I found out she's my biological sister. That's crazy. Who knew? Yeah. It's just absolutely, it'll never be just something that I don't have to wrap my mind around. Mm -hmm. It's more normal now, but it's still something that it was just God and it's a story that's meant to be shared. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to have to get the book to read that story because that's one of those things. So what is in the future for you? By the way, she said her book will be out in a month. It's a month later already. Her book's out, so you can go get it right now. So, so go do that. Um, what's on the horizon for you? So the horizon after the book, basically probably a movie on the life. Oh, That's really? most likely going to happen at some point. And I want to have four more books. That's kind of the plan is to have four more books. I want to do collaborations with beauty industry, cover girls, sports illustrated, um, really get into these places, Under Armour, things like that, where there's real opportunity to do things that have never been done before. Groundbreaking things where we've done age and weight and race and all of these things, but no one like me yet. And I think we're ready for it. We're in a time where we're just ready for that. And I think that um, God has called me to be in, in that. It's been on my heart for years. And you're in the right place. I mean, you've done HBO, uh, you've done ABC, like big shows. Yes. Um, ESPN. ESPN, yeah, mm-hmm. another one. So you're you're in the right place for all that kind of stuff. We're gonna have a lot of fun watching you. Oh, Where can people you. find you? Are you do you promote your social media and all that good stuff? Oh yeah, sure. So can you all link? Is that all on one website where they can um, go? You can go to my website, and then um, I might want to throw an Instagram. I'll, I'll say Insta, you know, any social media. I'll just say Jen Bricker, and then my website. What's your website? Uh, JenBricker.com. JenBricker.com. Yeah. It's on the screen right now. It is JenBricker.com. Check it out, and you can check out more of Jen and hear more about her story and how when how the meeting with her sister went on Life Today. That program is available right now on lifetoday.org. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe button because we want to let you know about all the great videos from Life Today.